DT! It's a red card! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't see a Where the goalkeeper is! Oh, you need to get some more money out, Robbie! Hello boys and girls, welcome to our player ratings for last night's victory against West Ham. We finally won a game. We've got that winning feeling. It feels so good. I'm smiling. I am so happy. Ah, I forgot what it felt like. It's amazing. I've got a spring in my step, a smile on my face. I don't care if it was only West Ham. People weren't saying it's only West Ham when they were saying they were going to batter us. So let's enjoy the moment. The harsh reality is we've got Man City in the league next. So um, yeah, we can't get much tougher than that really, can we? Apart from Liverpool. But look, let's just enjoy this moment. Um, the game in general was not a great performance up to the 60th minute. We were dreadful. It was the same old problems, the same, you know, slow and just not confident looking football. And then all of a sudden, it was as though we flicked a switch. Torreira lays the ball out brilliantly wide um, to Kalazinak, who puts in a beautiful cross, Martinelli. And then all of a sudden, we just took control. The football was flowing. The confidence was there. Pepe's goal, the assist for Aubameyang's goal, everything just fell into place in that last 30 minutes. West Ham capitulated and they look like a side that are in desperate need of uh, a new manager, shall we say. And there is talks about Pellegrini getting sacked. I know West Ham fans are not happy, but let's concentrate on ourselves because that was so much better in that last 30 minutes. Like I said, first 60, dreadful. And you've got to put that into context. You've got to, you know, not forget about that. But at the same time, the way we played that last 30 was absolutely superb. And I could not be any more happier. Now, a lot of people will have seen last night, um, I was on the telly, when they were watching the game, there was the Pepe goal and my celebrations with my son in my arms. And then at the end of the game, Lucas Torreira um, came up to my son and gave him his shirt. And I've had a few people saying, um, you know, so many nice things about it. And um, it was a special moment for my son, a really, really special moment. And um, one that he will definitely cherish. He's at school at the moment. Um, up bright and early with a big smile on his face, going in to tell all his friends about what's happened and everything. Um, so yeah, I have the shirt right here. I haven't even washed it yet. It's got mud all over it. Um, it was absolutely soaking wet after the game, which kind of tells you just how much Torreira put in. Um, but yeah, that's going to be taking pride of place in my son's room. Going to get that framed up. Hopefully I can get it signed first. Um, before I get that done um, but yeah it was an absolutely brilliant moment for him and you know that's what football's all about man you know not just the victories and everything else but you know passing on these moments to your children like my dad with me and everything else and you know it's brilliant absolutely brilliant so I can only thank Lucas Torreira for making a four-year-old boy um, a very 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 happy young man um, last night so thank you for that um, and um, yeah, I see a few people as well saying that um, I'm quite lucky because it probably fits my son, given the size of Torreira as well. And I can tell you that this is actually a size six. Um, it doesn't come in the small, mediums and larges. It's a size six. So yeah, it is tiny. I don't think I'm going to get that on myself. Um, but yeah, it's not too big on my son. <laughs> so, but listen, man, I'm buzzing, as you can tell. I'm really, really happy. It's just nice to get that feeling back and it's nice to get the victory. So... We're going to go into the player ratings. And like I said, the first 60 minutes was not that great, um, despite the brilliance of the last 30. So I'm going to try and give these ratings in context um, and be as balanced as I can and not try and 
you know, forget about those first 60 minutes and just remember the last 30. But starting off in goal, Bern Leno um, didn't have any, you know, chance with the goal deflected um, that went past him. And um, yeah, overall, it was a pretty comfortable evening. His handling was decent. Uh, a couple of moments with the kick in and I know the fans don't really like that. But overall, yeah, decent enough performance. I'll give Bern Leno a six. Uh, Going to move into the defence. First of all, on the right-hand side, Ainsley Maitland-Niles. And, um, of course, that was a very late change uh, because Hector Bellerin had to pull out after he was um, felt his hamstring, I believe it was, in the warm-up. Um, I think in that last 30 minutes, Maitland-Niles looked decent. He was running forward, getting into good areas. But that first hour, it was not great. And the one thing that annoyed me about Maitland-Niles was that with the goal, he turned his back um, on the header and it hit his back and went past Leno. Um, but yeah, for his performance last night, I will give him a five. Uh, Going to move into the centre of defence. First of all, Socrates. And I don't think he was troubled too much. There was a couple of moments. But overall, it was decent enough performance. And I'll give uh, Socrates a six. Uh, next to him, we had Callum Chambers and a similar kind of thing as um, Socrates, to be honest with you. A couple of moments, but overall pretty solid and um, done the job that he had to do. And I'll give him a six. Um, Kieran Tierney, um, he started off on that left-hand side. I'm not going to mark him because he went off injured. It doesn't look too great. Looks like a dislocated shoulder. Um, so yeah, I won't mark him, but Kalazanak, he did come on. Um, and he was on for quite a long period of time. So I will actually mark him um, now instead of, you know, as one of the substitutes. Um, great assist for the first goal. Uh, I think defensively looked decent. Um, getting forward whenever he could. And um, I'll give Klasenek a seven. I thought it was a decent performance and he got that cross spot on. So, um, yeah, decent performance. Uh, Going to move to the two in front and first of all, Lucas Torreira and there will be some people that will say I'll give him a 10 because he gave me the shirt. Um, but no, listen, Torreira was immense. He was really, really good. And when he plays in that role, he is brilliant. And that is what we want to see. That's the player we bought. That's the player that we see for Uruguay and when he first came to Arsenal. I absolutely loved that performance last night. And I'm going to give Lucas Torreira an 8 for his performance. Uh, alongside him, Granit Xhaka. And um, again, same kind of thing uh, with some of the players. In that first hour, it wasn't that great. He wasn't the worst, but it wasn't great. There was a couple of stray passes and he ducked out of the header for the West Ham goal. And that really did annoy me. Um, but in that last 30, he was brilliant. He'd done really, really well before he ended up getting a smack in the face from the ball. Um, and having to come off in the last couple of minutes. But I felt he was brilliant in those last 30, like I said. Um, but before that, not overly great. Um, but yeah, it's done well since he's come back from what happened and everything. And I think that he's been, you know, decent over the last three games. And it's very clear that Torreira and Shaka are our best midfield pivot, those two. So um, I'll give Granit Shaka a six for his performance last night. Uh, Going to move into the attacking areas. First of all, on the left-hand side, Gabriel Martinelli. And um, this young lad, what a prospect. What a talent. He is absolutely brilliant. Got that first goal. Um, busy, lively, all night. And causing problems all day long. And I'll give him an eight for his performance last night. Uh, on the right-hand side, we have Nicolas Pepe. And um, he was causing problems all night. Um, you look at Cresswell, a couple of the tackles he made on Pepe were disgusted. Sorry, I'm not buying into all this proper old school tackling. Yeah. Listen, they were dirty tackles. All right. And they could have done some serious damage. And ironically, it was Pepe nutmegging him and completely ruining him that actually got him injured. So, you know, I wish Cresswell the best and um, I hope he recovers from whatever injury he has. But Pepe was giving him a torrid time. And, um, you know, that last 30, he come into his own. He was absolutely immense. And that's the Nicolas Pepe we bought. That's why we spent that kind of money. But we need to see it on a consistent basis. For me, brilliant. And he gets a nine. Um, in the middle of that, Meza Ozil. And again, it's that kind of double performance. First 60, 
wasn't that great. Um, he had all the tools in front of him, everything that we cry out that he needs, um, the pace and everything, but it just wasn't, you know, falling into place. Looked frustrated at times, but in that last 30, he come alive and it was the Meza Ozil that I love to see. The spraying of the passes, the movement, everything was just brilliant. Um, but that first 60, not great. And that last 30 was decent. So I'll give him a seven. Uh, next up, we have Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And um, again, first 60, there wasn't a lot for him to feed off. He was trying. Um, there was one moment where he took a shot on in the first half. And I know it went miles over, but that was kind of... You know, him trying to take the initiative, trying to, you know, be proactive and get something going. Um, and in the second half, his link-up play, it was his back heel to Pepe that set him through to get his goal. Then he goes and gets him goal himself. And, you know, Aubameyang's so much more better when he plays through the middle. So much more lethal. And, um, yeah, overall, decent enough performance. And I will give him a 8 because he got the goal and assist for Pepe. The kind of role reversed. And um, yeah, decent enough performance. Um, in terms of the substitutions, um, already I've gone into the one with Kalazinak. Um, Gwendozi had to come on as well. Wasn't really on the pitch for long enough. And um, yeah, Reese Nelson as well. Didn't really get long enough to mark him either. Um, but overall, yeah, it was decent enough. Um, in terms of the manager rating, Freddie Lundberg, um, I'm going to give Freddie an 8 uh, because he picked the starting lineup that we wanted. He picked the starting lineup that I predicted in my preview. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take full credit for that one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it didn't start well. But he said something to him at halftime. Something was done. I don't know what it was, but something was done. And it worked. And uh, you've got to give him full credit for that. And you look at the way the players were celebrating with him. They're clearly with him. They clearly love him. And um, yeah, he's got the victory. First one. And that would be such a relief for everybody. So there we go. That is it. That is the player ratings. Um, as usual, let me know in the comment section whether you agree or disagree. What would you go with? What ratings would you give some of those players if they are different than mine? Um, now, what have we got coming up? Blood Brothers Episode 2 is out tomorrow, 7pm. Keep an eye out for that because my first game against Hackney Wick is in there. And I'm sure you're going to like this one. Um, and it doesn't go without saying that there's drama involved, especially with me there. Um, there's going to be a preview coming out as well. Uh, Thursday morning, I'll drop that one for the Europa League game. Um, out in Belgium. Um, I'll be out there, of course. Um, yeah, going out there, feeling a little bit more confident anyway. And then there'll be a player ratings to that. Uh, I'm going to try and fit a match day vlog in there as well, one of my European ones. Uh, there'll be a preview to the Man City game coming up and then player ratings. And we'll see where we are after that game, whether I'm feeling like crap again or whether I'm smiling. But Right now, I'm smiling. I'm happy. Um, so yeah, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, smash a like on this video, and I'll see you lot soon. I'm out of here.